CVS is taking some popular cold medicines off its store shelves. The company voluntarily taking action after the FDA determined an active oral ingredient called phenylephrine does not work. Our Jennifer Lee reports. CVS is the first major drugstore chain to take some cold and cough medication off its shelves after a popular active ingredient, phenylephrine, was found to be ineffective. Other big pharmacies may soon follow. A small number of leading decongestants will no longer be sold at CVS Pharmacy if the only active ingredient is phenylephrine. It's in almost any cold medicine that's over the counter. It's the replacement of Sudafed. In Center City, Ruth Terzanski of Pickwick Pharmacy says many over-the-counter treatments contain phenylephrine and other active ingredients. None of these cold medicines ever cure a cold. They help you with all the symptoms. They help you get through the day. The common cold has to run its course. Our Dr. Mike Cerigliano says there's been a lot of discussion about phenylephrine since an FDA advisory group said it was ineffective. To be honest with you, it doesn't work. Dr. Mike recommends treating the particular symptom you're experiencing instead of taking a medication that treats multiple symptoms. They throw everything in there, including the kitchen sink, and that's not what you want to do. He says there are many options for decongestion, such as nasal steroid sprays, pseudoephedrine or Sudafed, which you can get behind the pharmacy counter, and his favorite, nasal lavage. And what you do, you put it in your nose and over the sink you squirt gently and it flows out the other side. And what that does is that allows you uh, to flush out all of the uh, allergens and all of the mucus and all of the stuff in there that you want to get out. Others say they've steered clear of medication on the shelves for this very reason. I would like to drink uh, ginger tea or garlic tea. There are times when you take medicines and it does not work. That's why I really don't really take uh, over-the-counter medicines. And if the FDA decides to follow through on the recommendations, it could also require drug makers to take oral medications containing phenylephrine off store shelves. In Old City, Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.